Get me back to church. Only Billy Gray would get taken down on the distribution beef and end up in a country club. How were things in there? You know, John Boy, it was kind of hard. Harder than you think. I don't know what I'd rather go back to. Stents in the hall or group share cluster fucks in that place. Okay. Whether it's train gangs in the showers or grown men crying and hugging in rehab, there's definitely an undeniable twinge of homosexuality in this fine country's correctional system. No wonder you keep getting caught there, Billy. You can't stay away from it. <laughs> now, let's be clear. I keep getting caught because assholes like you ain't watching out for me. Don't question me. Sometimes you gotta look out for yourself, Billy. Okay, I'll save my questions until I see the chapter. And you better have looked after my baby. Much, Bill. The usual stuff. We missed you, Bill. So, aching for a fucking drink here. Amiguito. Come on, just pour a Willie wet back. Boys, salute wet you pussy motherfuckers. To kill. Salute. <laughs> okay, oh, another round fun. for him. Goddamn <sighs> right. Mm, yummy. So, Johnny boy, where's my bike? You know where it is. Let me rephrase the question. Where the fuck is my bike and where the fuck haven't you got it back for me? Because you know where it is. Are you deaf? Give me that whiskey. Are you fucking deaf? No. Then answer the goddamn question. Why the fuck haven't you got it back for me, friend brother? One word. Business. Like I told you when you were in there. Or were you so busy playing holier than thou, you started believing your own bullshit? Oh, forgive me. You know, I've had a complicated few weeks. No, you imagine. Shut up. You know, coming off heroin's kind of hard. I think I acquired this touch of amnesia. What business is more important, Mr. 1980s yuppie big shot, than your best friend's bike when he's close to getting a 15-year stretch? The business that pays his lawyer's fees. The business that puts food on all of our tables. The business that we are all in while you're out pretending to be saved. Get my bike! What am I, your fucking dog? I told you you should've gotten bike. You told me? You told me you don't tell me shit, you little fuck! Listen, Billy. They were pissed, and they had a reason. Your bike chopped that girl's leg off. You put Joe John's nephew in a coma. The deadbeats kept the bike, and we needed the money. You needed some balls. Uh, some fucking heart. Something. I can't believe I'm hearing this shit. And I can't believe I'm hearing this. After everything we did for you, Paid your rehab, paid your lawyer's fees, paid your rent, paid everything. Shit, we set stuff up for you. We do well, man, but it's time to be smart. You're right, you're right, no, you're right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run right out and buy a condo, get a mortgage, 401k, then fold that over into an IRA and a CD. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Be smart, you be smart, you fucking chump, you're ridiculous. Have you got a health care plan? Come on, Johnny, let's just get his bike, come on. Well, on your head be it. It always is. It's called leadership. Shit meaning something. Yeah, and your shit means a lot, man. Come on. Johnny! Yeah? Wait, come here. Listen, man. Well, I'll pin up right now. You saw that shit I had to go through, right? It was really frustrating. Fucked up shit. Craziness, right? Okay, so I'm a little pissed off and I've been a bit of a prick lately. Come on, man. You and Angus built that bike for me? That's gotta stand for something. Yeah, you're right, brother. I'm gonna go get it. And you know what? Peace and prosperity be damned. Peace and prosperity be damned, my brother. You are my brother, Johnny. Always. Let's go!
If you want something done right, you do it yourself. Brothers aren't meant to be this close, Johnny, but we're gonna have to be until I get my bike back. Shit, I guess we gotta make a call on Pretty Boy. He's over in Bullhead on Guantanamo. to avoid prison and I'm still asked to cock with a dude. Yeah, well, I ain't too happy about it neither, man. You want to turn around and go back to the clubhouse? I'm happy about it, all right, John Boy. Fuck, after that therapy shit, the drink in the road's all that I need. Good to know. You've been missing me all that time I spent sharing and caring and rehab? Let's get your bike and save the emotions for later. You know what, Johnny? You can do with some of the trust exercises they got in there. I'm gonna blindfold you when we get back. All you gotta do is fall over and trust that your brothers are gonna catch you. <laughs> can you do that? You boys will be too drunk to catch VD, let alone 230 pounds of rapidly approaching middle age. Technically, you are 230 pounds of Jewish biker, John Boy. Your faith has gotta come first. Religion, Billy. Religion. I gave up with faith. Johnny the Jew, Levitz the Heath. Good to be here, man. Good to fucking be here. What's your problem? Nothing, man. I'm the leader of the chapter again, Johnny. And you're just another brother. Can you handle it? As long as you run the chapter right, we can all handle it. I'll run it the way it needs to be run. Same as the three guys before me did. Same as I'm doing now. Really? Feels kind of different. Before, all we cared about was having fun, brothers, getting shit-faced, Screw you, you get in our way, you gotta get your teeth kicked in. Thank you for Jerry. And now what's it feel like to you, Jonathan? Feels like knocking heads is a full-time job. And maybe if we stop doing it for a minute, we'd look around and realize that the fun ended a long time ago. Yeah? Well, I signed up to be a brother for life, you ungrateful fuck. If you're in the loft for the good times only, fair weather weekends and the caraways, then you ain't in the loft. You get me? Chill out, man. I just hope when we decide to take a break, to slow down, that it's still an option on the table. Pretty boy. Hey! Where's the bike? Oh, it's good to see you too, tough guys. Uh, what bike are you talking about exactly? You know what we're talking about? Billy's bike. Billy's bike? <laughs> Jesus, man. It's been a long time. I thought he was dead. What's he wanted for? To sell for crack, right? Hey? Shut up. Listen, you know how it is. Things passed hands. Parts been changed up. Hard to say if that job is even around anymore. Sorry, boys. You will be, my friend. You will be. Hey! Good to see you, Bill. Man, I, I thought you was dead. Jim, start up the bike. Whoa! Hold on. Wait! Please! Please! No! 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 no. Where is my ah, bike? Ah, no, Speak, you mind. ugly ah, fuck! Ah, okay, listen. Ah, the Angels of Death took it to that place in Northwood. What the fuck? The Angels of Death! Me. Thank you! Yes. Thank you! All right then, let's wrap this up. You didn't have to do that. He told you who had the bike. You really got soft, haven't you, Johnny? You know, 
You could do with a stretch in the joint. Might harden you up. Whatever. What about an eye for an eye and all that shit? You should have been the one making that guy pay for holding out. Enough of that shit. We got more things to worry about than respect and stupid kid stuff. We gotta keep business afloat or we're fucked. You just don't get it, do you? This is what it's about. This. Not that money shit. We're in it to stick it to all those yuppies and hippies and motherfucking deadbeats. Give me a stiff drink, some hard drugs, the road and my chopper, that's all I need. Maybe an occasional bit of a hole. Wouldn't be a man if I didn't need that now, would I? How's Ashley, by the way? She's single? What about your brothers, man? Ain't you in it for the lost? Everything I do is about the lost. I don't exist without my brothers, without you. If you don't get that, then you don't get nothing, John Boy. Is that state of affairs? Yeah, well, it's some tough love you're showing them. Don't add, Clayman! 
Got your bike. Take what you gotta take, drink what you gotta drink, fuck what you gotta fuck. I don't care. Kill who you gotta kill, but get it out of your system. Hmm. And when you do, give me a call and we'll get back to business. You're not my P.O., brother. Remember who the head of this chapter is. I do, man. Trust me. Tell me, do you still have Ashley's phone number? Why don't you give her a call for me? Tell her I'm inside getting all sorts of fucked up. And that I would really like some, I mean, we, meaning all of us, would love some pole. Higher, man. Nothing like a car. Not much. Higher. 